Okay, on the screen here you have some antiderivatives uh, of x to, to powers. So we have the antiderivative of x is x squared over 2 plus c. The antiderivative of x squared is x cubed over 3 plus c and, and so on. Um, x cubed is x to the fourth over 4 plus c. So looking at these, see if you can find a pattern and tell me what x to the n is going to be. So x to any power. Um, and if you can and if you can figure that out based on this pattern, then you'll have figured out a power rule for antiderivatives. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video if you uh, if you need the time and and tr think about that for a minute. So hopefully you're back from pausing the video, and the pattern here that we've established is we're taking the power that x is two, and we're adding one to that power, so we're increasing the exponent by one. And then we're dividing by that new that new power. So here we'd have x to the n plus 1. We're adding 1 to that exponent. And then we're just dividing by that new exponent, so n plus 1. And then, of course, it's an antiderivative, so we need to add this plus c here. And that there is the power rule for antiderivatives. So anytime you have x to a power, this is how you find its antiderivative. And you might be asking, where does this come from? Why does this make sense? And can I see some examples? Um, so let's handle those all, 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 but let's do them one at a time. So if you were to take the derivative power rule and look at it and try and undo it, that's where this antiderivative power rule comes from. So the derivative of x to the n is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. So you bring the power down and then you subtract 1 from the power. So to undo that, it's a lot like taking a, uh, putting on your socks and then putting on your shoes. To undo that operation, you have to first take off your shoes and then your socks. So here, we multiply by n and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. So to, do, to undo this, we have to add 1 to the exponent. That's this step and then divide by that new exponent. That's this step. So that's where the, this antiderivative power rule comes from. We're really just undoing the derivative power rule. Here we subtracted 1 from the exponent and multiplied. Here we're adding 1 to the exponent and dividing. Okay, so let's see some examples of this. So let's take the antiderivative of... Uh, well, we already have some examples here, but let's take the antiderivative of x to the fifth. So this one isn't shouldn't be too hard. This is going just to be x to the sixth over six plus c. So we just added one to the exponent divided by the new exponent. Okay, so this is the antiderivative power rule. It works for x to any power. In the next video, we'll learn some other basic properties of antiderivatives um, that we can use uh, to help us find, find antiderivatives. Okay, see you in the next video.